Now we're going to make a fixed target tracking scene from scratch. So in a new scene, we can right click in the scene little window and add a fixed target tracker. And then if this overlay appears, you can just hit WAS or D just to hide that. And that's just showing that you can move the camera around with those keys. And I believe you can just reset rotation there. I guess that's more if you're spinning around though. So in the target tracker, we want to bring in a texture. So I have the stop sign ping prepared here. And I took that from a photo my wife took here. So I'll bring that in. And then in the target tracker, we'll just add that as the texture. And that gives us this little overlay here. But this overlay is only visible in Spark. If we put this in the phone and test it on Instagram, this won't appear. So we need to add our own little guide to show people what they're looking for. So let's just add a rectangle. And that will automatically add our canvas here. And let's switch to 2D view so we can adjust this. And I'll just drag it to the center. And we want it to be maybe filling half the screen. So we can increase this to maybe 200 by 200. And then we have to recenter that again. And now for this, we'll make a material. Double click that. Rename it mat stop sign guide. Change it to flat. And we'll use the same texture. And I'll switch back to 3D view just to see what's going on better. And you'll notice this guide is further beyond the focal distance. And because this canvas is in the focal distance, that's why this appears here. And that's why we're getting this extra little detail around the outside of the stop sign because this is visible behind this. So in this material, let's turn on the alpha test just so that this is nice and clean around those edges. And then you can see that also revealed more pieces of that background stop sign. And we'll also turn this opacity down to, I guess 50% would be good. So we only want to see this guide until the phone recognizes the image. So we need to add some logic here. So let's open the patch editor and we can drag in this target tracker. And the target tracker has this output called found, which is a Boolean. So for this rectangle, we'll call this stop sign guide. And I'll rename the canvas to guide canvas. So this guide rectangle, we want to adjust the visibility. And when it is found, we want this to not be visible. So as you might guess, we'll add a knot here. And as you can see, this disappeared immediately because if we check here, it is found. And so we take the opposite of that and that gives us the visibility of our guide. So that should be all we need for this little guide piece here. And we have the target tracker all set up here. And to make sure it's working right, let's just add a simple plane inside of it. And we can move that just a little bit in front of here. So now if we throw this over to our phone and point it at a stop sign, we should get this grid right in front of it. So I'll test that on Instagram really quick. And it looks like it's working.